Hello crafters, it's Sarah here at the Crafty Coterie and today I get to share with you a project that I've been working on. It's been kind of secret because it's a gift and um, I'm finally get to give the gift so I'm making this video to show you guys and um, I'm really really excited because I like it. It turned out really well. This is Lynn's Lighthouse from the Gentleman Crafter Gym and I used his tutorial for the construction. The papers are um, not the same that he uses in his. I'll, um, I'll show you the packs that I used. I used this pack right here. Um, the Beach House pack from Paper Studio at Hobby Lobby. I used both the 8x8 pad and the 12x12 and as you can see it doesn't really use up very much paper at all so I have a ton of this stuff left. Um, this is the lighthouse. I'll show you inside there's I didn't have that on there's a little tea light a little battery operated tea light and I should have had that on I guess huh so that comes off it's functional you can you know use it as a little night light I absolutely love this I just think it's so fun and and adorable and it also is a little functional so if you've never seen this um, if you've never seen the tutorial before then this is a little bit of a surprise. You can see down here there's a drawer and I just put some extra tea lights in for now but um, if you lift this off like that and you see that this comes out and comes apart and inside is an album and I love this. This is so cool. It's made using um, I don't know if you can tell, but these right here, these are skewers, wooden skewers. So um, this is the little album inside, and of course I had to add some charms, and these are just some random things that I picked up. I will, I'll post a link to all the little, to all the charms and the, you know, what uh, brand they were. Anyway, there's a little bicycle and um, compass and a little anchor. There's a little wheel here, a ship's wheel. I'll flip through these pages real quick so you can see them. And I left it pretty plain because the person that I'm giving it to is a paper crafter. So I know she's set with stamps and things like that that she can use to add to the album. But she loves to go on vacation and she loves the ocean. So I thought this was just perfect for her. She loves lighthouses. And they go on vacation quite a bit and take a lot of trips and I thought this would just be a great way for her to document some of her favorites, some of her favorite memories. These are just some little tags that I added. And other than any paper like these, these aren't from that Beach House collection, these. Um, but these were just things that I had in my stash that I went ahead and added in some of the ribbon things that I had collected from oh just random kits and whatnot you can see there that's a really that's an old creative memory sticker I don't know if you guys recognize any of that and let's see there's one more there's a little shell some shells and things that I attached this um these are just little tags I cut up some of this paper here and used it to make the little tags and then they just stick down in there. So she can add a photo here and she can add another one here. And the little pocket, there's there's a couple pockets in there so that um, you can add a few more, maybe a larger 4x6 or something like that. Excuse me, photos. And I just love this construction, the way it's built into the to the walls. This is a great tutorial. He did a really good job of putting it together. There are a couple things that I would do differently. So if you're going to do this, um, I can't think of, I'm trying to think if there was one I was, I can't remember right now, but um, let me get that in there. One of the things that I would do definitely this time is before I mounted, um, or sorry, before I mounted this section onto here, 
I think I would go ahead and pre-cut my holes for these hitch fasteners. Um, Jim just glued them on, but I wanted them a little more secure. So, um, whoops. I wanted them a little more secure. So, um, I did screw them in. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. That's a nice little surprise when you open it up. I thought that was a great paper. I had to use it. The other thing was also that he had a fencing around this part. And I had it, had, did add the fence up here, but um, I didn't want to add one here because you would see the way it was designed. You would, you would see the bottom of it here. I think I would have rather added the fencing and then matted this top afterwards so that it would cover the seam. But other than that, that's basically it. I added these seashells and I just used glossy accents. And at first I wasn't real sure it was going to hold up. And there were a couple of them that felt iffy and here are these two but you know if, if you hold that stuff on there and just give it a little bit of time to dry it it dries it dries really well and it sticks the must if you get something down with glossy accents it's not going anywhere so anyway this is Lynn's lighthouse which actually this one is actually not Lynn's it's Joanne's lighthouse so anyway I hope you enjoyed this look. I absolutely adore this project and who knows, I might make another one just for the fun of it because it was a lot of fun to put together. It went together really quickly and didn't use hardly any paper. I was really shocked. I thought for sure this thing was going to take a long time. All the octagons, I thought it was going to be a bit of a pain, but it wasn't. It was very simple. Jim did a really good job of... Um, explaining everything of all the instructions and measurements that you need um, of having everything included and where they should go like I said the only only exception for me would have been to make the holes for all the hitches the little hitch fasteners and I did end up just gluing these on these I did just glue but you know you didn't you could have added I think those ahead of time well no you no maybe you couldn't but anyway, it's fine if that they're glued on. It's not a big deal. Oh, the other thing was his head feet. I didn't want to put feet on it. I just thought, I don't know, the bottom looks so substantial. I didn't really feel like it needed feet. So I left him off. But anyway, he did good. And, um, and I love this project. So pop on over to uh, Jim's Etsy store. I'll put a link in the, um, in the description down below. And... Get yourself the uh, the Lens Lighthouse tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.